Does she? I'm a little bit. And this is from Pakistan. But she knows she has so many Gujarati friends. You know, her brother in also from Gujarat. You know, they are Kenyans. Yeah. Gujarati people in Kenya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, is she from Africa? Not her, but her uh, relatives. She was born here. Achha. Oh, right, right, right. So, were you, were you a born Christian? No, I was a Hindu. Really? And you became a Christian? Yeah, when? I had an encounter with Jesus. Ah. I was looking for God and uh, Jesus and really? my dad totally changed. So then I knew the truth that, you know, when I, uh, there is a life of shed death, I realized that. And, um, you know, I went to this church, my friend took me. You're right. And uh, their pastor was preaching, without being born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. So I said, what is born again? I'm already born again. Yeah, yeah. So they said, when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, yes. that's when I began. Right. So when I did that, I could see a complete transformation. Asha. So, so my name is Shabir. You are? I'm Kritika. Kritika. And she is? Zina. Z Zina. Yeah. Z E N A. Yeah. With a T at the end. Yeah. Zinat. Yeah. Nice name. Very nice name. Uh, <laughs> Zinat, I can remember. Uh, sorry? No, I'm a Muslim. Okay. Yeah. We are just talking about where we are from. Yeah. yeah, please ask me questions. <laughs> he wants to ask the questions. I was having a nice conversation with Ritika. <laughs> yeah, can I just ask? I mean, like I say, I'm always wanting to know about people and what they accept. At the end, it's everybody's choice. But how did you know it was Jesus? You know, Jesus. And whosoever you want to answer this? Because he's asking, how do you know that it is Jesus who spoke to us? Yeah. How did, if, if you didn't know about Jesus before, how did you know it was Jesus? The Bible says that... The no, at that time you didn't know anything about the Bible, Zina. See that when a little child is born, yeah. he doesn't know who is the mother. Right. But the minute he hears the voice of the mother, he knows it's my mother. Yeah. Maybe little baby hasn't seen the mother. Yes. But he knows inside. Yeah. This is the voice of my mother. Yeah. Even the touch. Yes. So do I know the voice of my father? So you will know the voice of your father when you really re release your heart to the God Almighty. Right. Because Jesus did not come to bring us a religion. There were so many religions already. Yeah. Adam sinned and turned away from God. Yeah. But Jesus came. Why was he born as a Mary, Mary mother, virgin? Because he didn't want to be born the sins of the Adam. Right. He was born by the word of God. Okay. And he had no sin. Right. And that's how he can take our sin. Right. And free us from that sinful nature of, yeah. of Adam and brought us a new 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 creation which is born of god and bring us close to god yeah. right Th this is not about religion yeah i understand yeah. but but you know when you say uh, like i said i i like asking the question yeah sure if please. if if uh, jesus christ was born of mary didn't mary have sin see if you are you uh, i'm a doctor i right. don't know where oh, you good. are I'm not a doctor. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, you know the uh, if you know the the, uh, the body of a mother. Yeah. Uh, so body of a person. Yeah. It comes from the mother's mother's body. Okay. So if a man and an ape sleep together, you know he was a baby, he was a refugee. Ape will be pregnant and bring a child who look like an ape but speak from their father. When Jesus was a baby, right? It's opposite of the way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will look like an ape. Because mother, uh, when the child is conceived, the blood is not coming from the mother, it's coming from the father. You. Right. Go and do the research, you find out. Okay. So God needed a, 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 God needed a, a, a body. A body. Sorry, can I just understand? The blood comes from the man, you are saying? Yes. So when Jesus Christ was in the womb of the mother, was blood in the man, in the infant Jesus? Yes. The, the, Which the blood, blood was that? From the word, from the word, because Gabriel brought the word and he said, but you will be pregnant. No problem. But as you say, as a doctor, 
How is the child nourished? Child is nourished with the, with the genetic, the gene from the parents, uh, from the father. So, um, no, no. How is the child nourished in the womb? In, in the placenta. Yeah. It's created by the, the genetic process of the man's gene, uh, man's seed. So I, I, everything comes from the man's seed. So nothing's you, coming from the mother. You, Only thing, so, mother is just a host. So you are saying that the child. Jesus, when it was growing in Mary's womb, was totally detached from Mary. Yes, and also many other. Even when I was, and you were in your mother's womb. Right. So but was there no umbilical cord connected? Umbilical cord connected. What is that for? But the, because the mother is the hosting. Yeah, yeah. But what does the umbilical cord allow the the infant to have? From the from genes the mother. Of the father. The genes of the father. The blood blood is created. How? So the cord, cord okay. is just uh, the blood is never mixed with the mother. It's right. Okay. But how does the child grow? It's from it's the from the genes of the man man seed, from the uh, father seed. So the so the people who are who are so so, so if a ma if a mother smokes ex excessively, drinks excessively, will it affect the child? It would. So there is some connection taking place. It is connection, but it's not blood. It's not no, blood. no, I'm not talking about the blood. See, you see, see, when the, a... see when the sperm meet together. When the sperm is meeting together. Yeah, sorry. I don't, suddenly we were cameras. <laughs> well, who are you? I'm Shabir. 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 If you are okay, no worries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, when, the, when the sperms meet together, Okay, right. you, you find out Google search and everything. Okay. The ge genes come from the father. Right. And the body is just a host. Sorry, when you say genes come come from the father. The seed. Well, I, uh, right. No, no. I, I'm, okay. just, uh, I'm just trying to understand. Yeah. You'll be in a better position to answer this. Uh, what kind of DNA are you talking about here? The DNA are you talking about the mitro mitochondrial DNA see, or? See, yeah. see, see, the thing is, is yeah, I, I don't want to go into too much into detail of that. You can go on Google and research about this yourself. Okay. What I'm saying. Okay. But what I'm saying is that the father's, see, the father's genes yes, yeah. determine the life of a baby in the in the womb. Right. Understand that? Okay. Okay. So the body of a woman is just a host. Right. And, I can. And, and a man uh, will be created in the form of. A right. Man. Are you saying that there's no fusion of any kind taking place? See, Between the it, egg and the sperm. No, there is. Right. right? Okay. But so the life is coming from the father. No, no. One second. So I, I, I'm, I'm, my focus. You try and take my focus away. No, no. I'm not. I'm trying to understand yeah, the so mechanics. What, okay. I'm telling you that Adam sinned. Adam sinned, and he cut off from the fellowship of God. If you read Genesis chapter one, you understand okay. that he sinned, and he cut off from the fellowship of the God. Okay. So now, as, so, as soon as Adam accepted what devil told him, that Adam was walking under the guidance of the devil. Okay. So it's a spiritual law: who you believe, you function through that. Okay. He stopped fellowshipping with God, but he was fellowshipping with devil because he did the same thing what God told him not to. Okay. Now, the the Adamic power that Adam had, Adam has a lot of power that God gave him. Okay. The Adamic power that Adam had was um, functioning with the devil. So devil become more powerful, and he became the. Yeah, God but how do God. we know that? Because this is in in Bible. Where? In Genesis chapter one, go read, read it yourself. Uh, I have and actually then, read it. Yeah. But where does it say that what you just said is actually what happened? Yeah, let me explain to you. Yeah, sure. And then that person is walking away from God. Now you cut off from the fellowship from God, and right. you're walking away from God. Okay. When you're walking away from God, how can God help you? Okay. Because is because God tried. Yeah. Genesis chapter one, uh, mm. verse six. He said, uh, second chapter, uh, Genesis chapter two, verse six. Somewhere along there, he says, because I haven't got my Bible yeah, not on me right now. Not to worry. That he tried to walk with Adam and Adam won't listen. 
Right. So he said, I cannot strive my spirit with Adam any longer. So how, what, because God cannot force people. Okay. Cannot force, okay, I'm going to shut everybody down and you worship me. This is not how God made Adam. Right. God gave us a free will. Yeah. And he wanted to give a choice to Adam as well. Yes. He said, don't eat from this. But yeah. he chose to eat. Yeah. He said, if you eat, you will die. But you know, Zinat, I agree with what you are yes, saying. Let me finish Sorry. This. Yeah. And then, what can we do now? Now right. God has to come. Now people start worshipping this religion, that religion, that religion. But that couldn't bring them close to God. Okay. So God says, now what do I do? Nobody is fellowshipping with me. Yeah. I need to I need to go and I need to function right. somehow to bring these people back to me. Right. Okay. So God has to take a birth in the form of human because we were all yeah. human. So the human, he took a form of a human to take a birth. But he was if he would have been born with a normal process, mm. then he would have Adam sin on him. Yeah. That's why Jibrael came and he brought the word and told him yeah. that take this word yeah. and you will have a child. And the child was born without sin. Right, okay. Now when he's got no sin, he can take care of your sin and my sin okay. and free us from the sin and bring yeah. us back to God. This is exactly what Jesus did. No. That miracle yeah. birth that took place is for a reason. Yeah. Right, I, I can understand all this in it. But you see, you know, if I backtrack from what you said, one thing I've never been able to understand. If we are, we are being told that the Creator put himself in such a position that he was incapable of making an independent decision. Am I right? Say again. We are saying from what you just said in your narrative, that the Creator put himself in such a situation that he was incapable of doing something independently. For example? Uh, as you were saying, when he committed a sin, could God just forgive him? No. So he was put in a position where now he can't just forgive, he's going to have to t undertake a process to be able to allow people to be forgiven. So, as an example, Adam committed a sin according to the Bible, as you said. Fine, understandable. Now, the Creator, from what I have understood, the Creator is now in a situation where he has to work out a plan to forgive, but he can't just forgive. Are you, are you following? Right. So I'm thinking, right, wait a minute. I'm talking about the Creator of the universe, the Creator who created Adam, the Creator who has created all human beings. This very same Creator had the power, according to what you just said, He had the power to create another human being, Jesus Christ, as a man. Yeah, He had the power to create Adam from nothing. But this Creator suddenly now doesn't have the ability to be able to independently forgive someone. You see, I tell you, there's a consequence. The consequence. The consequence of a sin. Say, for example, if, 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 uh, if, uh, if you are calling him, is it good? It's okay, be patient with it. Uh. You'll come across people like that, don't worry. Zinat, okay. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. You want to hear the answer? He's on camera. You want to hear the answer? Everybody knows. Everybody knows. <laughs> Oh, you, you're not man enough. If you if you give a question, you're supposed to hear an answer. Carry on, carry on. Yeah, carry on, Zidane. <laughs> carry on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just carry on. So, um, basically, uh, that, I enough. Okay. The consequence. Yeah. Okay. So, one man rape a woman. Okay. And have a, the, the the woman have a child. Okay. Okay. Now, what the the consequence of the sin is that woman has been hurt, and, and there's another life has come come to an existence. Yeah. Now, if that woman come to that man, and, and man come to that woman and said, "I'm sorry," how is she gonna forgive him? In the sense that without paying 
got the consequence. Right. Okay. If I were to, if I were to assess what you just said, and I ask myself this, you see, because according to what I understand, Jesus Christ had taught people how to pray, and he did say, "Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thine will be done, as it is in the heaven." And then he goes on and says, "Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive others their trespasses." Yeah. Now I am asking this question: If the rapist, from your example, came to the lady and said, "I am now born again. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive me of the sin." Should she forgive him? She should, but shouldn't she? Now, the best on the he just told you. Yeah, he. Yeah. Okay, so let me now, explain to you, right? Sure. He was talking about the salvation that he's bringing in. Who? The salvation that Jesus was bringing in. No, no, I'm the talking he, about the the example that you used. That yeah. if this guy, this rapist, then says to the girl, that look, I'm a, uh, I believe in Christ. Now, please forgive me. Will he? Will she forgive him? See, when you, when you, if you have Christ, if you have Christ, you have received forgiveness from God. Yes. And God said, "Okay, my son died for you. Yeah. He was sinless and took your sin. Yes. And into the kingdom. Now you are free from your sin. Yeah. So now I've received forgiveness from God. Yeah. Someone sinned against me. Yeah. I must forgive them. Right. Okay. So the rapist will be forgiven by the lady. Yes, okay, now suppose the rapist came and said, "Look, please forgive me," but he doesn't believe in Christ redeeming him. Will she forgive him? If he believe or not believe is not a factor. The woman believes. What if the woman doesn't believe? If the woman doesn't believe, they don't have the power because they are damned to. Is the is the power they are damned to condemnation? Anyway. Right. Well, if they are damned to condemnation, then it won't matter whether they are raped or not. Not, that doesn't not, make sense, does but it? But if you if you're walking without God, does it really matter what you do? Agreed. But then the problem here is this: that the forgiveness of sin is for sinners, not for people who are walking in God's uh, shadow. So the see, very fact that see, Jesus, see, see when you say God, yes. we need to see who God is. I agree. But we, I totally agree. Yes, I understand. Totally agree with you. But you see. Now here it is. You see, if I look, see, God is so holy. If you read the Old Testament, yeah, you find out with the Moses, yeah, that Moses' uh, brother, yeah, God told him, don't cross the line, yeah, because if you touch, you'll die. Yeah, because he's so righteous. Right. right. But you know when you because say God is so righteous, yeah. and He wants us to come to know the truth. Yes. He sent Himself to us yeah. in a form right. of man. Right. But don't you think? Because we are all human. I see what you mean, but Zina, think about this, and I want you to think about this. God is so holy, yeah. God is so holy that we can't approach Him. That's why Jesus came. No, so you are saying God then came down Himself. Yes. Okay. But now here's a question I've been asking He myself. He came in the form of a man. No problem. But my question is still here: that if God is the one in the Bible, yeah, He said in the Old Testament that you know the soul that sins it shall die. Have you heard of this? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. The next verse, yeah, it says, the father shall not bear the iniquities of the son, and the son shall not bear the iniquities of the father. The, right. Okay. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Yeah. Now, the, no. It's saying the soul that sins, it dies. But then it says that the father shall not carry the sins of the son. The son shall not carry the. It's not in the Bible. You know what actually happened at the cross was yeah. there was an exchange between the yeah. sin and the righteousness of God. Yeah. Sorry, Ritika, can I correct you? What I'm quoting is in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 20. Yeah. To check, check it. Now the the important thing that I wanted to ask Zinat is this: the last verse says, if you were to turn from your sinful ways and repent, 
then you shall surely live, you will not die. Yeah. Now, it is saying to me there that if I ask God for forgiveness, God will forgive me. And if he forgives me because I've turned away from sin. In the name of Jesus. No, it doesn't say that. No. That's what I'm. It is in the name of Jesus. You don't know the Holy Gospel. You can pick up one sentence. No, I haven't. I have read all of it. No, no. You are so, reading from your mind. No. That's why you need to receive from your heart. Okay. But Ritika, what I am saying is, look, this was in the Old Testament. When the idea of Jesus Christ coming and dying was not available. It is written, the whole book is about Jesus. If you see, the whole Old Testament is written about Jesus. Yeah. It's not about uh, Moses or it's not about uh, other, you know, like Muhammad yeah. or any other I know, understand, I understand. The whole Old Testament is written about Jesus. And that Jesus has come. Yeah. So now after the, the resurrection of Jesus, his disciples have written the New Testament. Okay. So it, the whole thing is from God. Yeah. So what, what the Bible says is the sin that was exchanged at the cross. You know when the yeah. when uh, Jesus went on the cross, yeah. right? The sin was gone on him. Yeah. So the chastisement of peace was upon him. Yeah. The Father punished for the sin yeah. of the mankind yeah. upon him. Yeah. So there is no other salvation yeah. under under heaven yeah. even Apart for the mankind that. under the name yeah. of Jesus other than the name of Jesus. I I have no problem with what you believe, Ritika. It is Ritika, isn't it? Yeah. Ritika. Ritika, yeah. Ritika, yeah. You see, Ritika, I don't have a problem with what you believe. What I'm trying to say here is, if you look at the evidence, yeah, you said that the whole of the Bible is about Jesus. No problem. But what I'm saying is, look, if you look at the contents of the Bible, where, Je where in Ezekiel, it clearly says that if you ask for forgiveness, God will forgive you. In the name of Jesus. But this is, now, Ritika, I can understand what you believe, but now you have a problem. Because in the Old no, Testament, no, no, I'm talking about the book, not yours. No, yeah. even the book is not problem. Okay, tell me. You know, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. You okay. cannot just say, oh, please forgive me. You know, that, that way Ritika, people are saying Just yeah. one second. Why can't we just say, forgive me? You can't. Why? For example, you killed him. Yeah, yeah. in the name of Jesus, you did not, but you yeah. killed him, for okay. example. Yeah. yeah. And you're telling to God, please forgive me. Yes. And God forgives. Yeah. What's wrong with that? God forgives you. What's wrong? What about his blood? Now, one second. There is now, no justice for him. No problem, Ritika. But here his is... blood has been shed and you killed him. Right. So okay. It, no, it will not be just. The just God cannot forgive you without giving justice to him. Right. Can so he give him? That is why he gave his son to die in your place. That's so fine. That the death, the, the blood that was shed, you know, has been shed again. The pure blood has been shed. Yeah. So in that time, that he can let you go on the basis that you killed him, but that's not punished. So he will tell him, look, I did not, I did not let him go just like that. I did not forgive him just like mm. that. I forgave him because my son died for him. Right. Okay. He died. He took the punishment okay. from him. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. not, sorry, that is not just God. No, I was about that to say. You see, right. the problem. He gave if, in hold on, your place, sorry. Can I just? Can I just? Sorry to interrupt. If, 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 if he was my, if, if, if he was my father, and I committed a crime, and you decided to come and kill him instead of me, okay? What type of justice would this be? God is not going to kill him. God, God killed his own. God killed his own son. No. Why? But this is not justice. Yeah. No. Because he loved you so much. You see, the, the problem. He might love me, but why would he kill his own son? He gave his son. That is why the love of God is. No, that would have been Jesus. Jesus is not a man. He's not just a man. But he was not born by a man. You see, the problem here, brother, the problem here is that the, the sister, the sister, no, I'm from my perspective, the sister will actually believe that God came and died. Isn't it? Yeah, Jesus That's the was problem. son of God. And that was from God. God had to give a remission of sin. You now, cannot let him go without punishing someone else. You see, no, it's what did not Jesus God. say, why have you forsaken me? He did. He did. He did. But you see, why did he say he that? He did. Why have you forsaken me? But forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. So Who was he referring to when he why, said that? Why, why you have forsaken me was not for Jesus. That time, he was a sin. He was a man. He was completely man on did the he cross. Know he, did he know he was God? 
That's why he came. He was a man and he was a Listen, Lord. listen to me. Don't walk. Don't walk. This is the truth. The day you die, you will know. You know the truth. Remember my word. If you but see Zina, you go I have to no hell, problem. call to Jesus. Even the time of death you will Zina, be saved. I have no Why? problem with what you are saying. Because but now God. you are saying Jesus is a liar. Jesus is a liar. You are saying he's a liar. How? You because God. you just said Jesus died for my sins. Yeah, and so said, every sin I commit, I am already forgiven because he died for my sins. Like but you have to accept him. him. You Sorry? have to accept his forgiveness. No, you but if I don't him. accept him, is this a sin? Yeah, it's, then you, it's, it's a sin, but I am already sin. forgiven. If you don't accept it. But with this logic, I am already forgiven. No, you have to receive it. I, but, see, see, listen, listen, listen. but what did he say? He said, God, for they do not know. So I don't know. That's why we're telling you. Yeah, that's why we're here. We thought knowledge of perishing. Pleasure meeting you, Zinat. Look after yourself, okay? Rithika, thank you very much. Look after yourself, okay?